Like I mentioned, when we began this broadcast, our team is in Washington, D.C. to cover the Quad meeting and the United Nations General Assembly. So stay tuned to We On. And away from that, the Islamic State Khorasan has claimed responsibility for the attacks against the Taliban in the Afghan city of Jalalabad. The group claimed three separate bomb attacks targeting three Taliban vehicles in Jalalabad on Saturday and another bomb attack on Sunday on a Taliban vehicle. A child was killed and two people, including a Taliban forces member, were injured in the explosion on Sunday evening. Referring to the blast, the group claimed that more than 35 Taliban members were killed or wounded in the explosions. There was no immediate comment from the Taliban about the death toll. Jalalabad is the capital of Nangarhar province, the heartland of the Islamic State group's Afghanistan branch, rivals of the Taliban. On Saturday, at least seven people were killed and another 30 injured in a series of explosions in Afghanistan's Jalalabad city after four IED blasts took place in Jalalabad, at least one of which allegedly targeted a Taliban convoy. Among those killed or injured were women, children and security personnel. This was the first deadly attack in Afghanistan ever since the U.S. withdrew its troops from the country. There have been instances of explosions and attacks in the last few weeks, but this is the first time that civilian casualties have been reported. What is evident is an increasing presence of ISIS-K in Afghanistan, especially now that the U.S. is no longer in the picture. While both ISIS-K and Taliban are hardline Sunni Islamist militants, they are also sworn enemies who differ on minute details on religion and strategy. The leaders of ISIS-K were always against the deal signed between the Taliban and Washington in Doha. When Kabul fell to the Taliban, the Islamic State did not congratulate the group, unlike other jihadist groups. The Taliban, for its part, has said that it will not allow ISIS to become active in Afghanistan. According to a report by the UN Analytical Support and Sanctions Monitoring Team, the strength of ISIS-K in Afghanistan could be anywhere between 500 to 10,000. The area of attack is also significant. The capital of Nangarhar province is surrounded by Pakistan to its east. To the north is Kunar, where the Lashkar El Taiba is active. To the south is the Loya Paktika, comprising of the provinces of Coast and Paktika long considered the Haqqani network territory. And it is a swathe of territory that Pakistan has long sought to control. Jalalabad is also the stronghold of the Islamic State in Afghanistan, the same group that claimed responsibility of the Kabul airport attack that killed over 180 people, including 13 U.S. troops. Well, for more on this, our correspondent Anas Malik sent us this report from Kabul. Watch. The Taliban have not come out with any statement for now. They have not. Uh, there is no official confirmation with regarding any apprehensions uh, to what has happened in Jalalabad in the past 48 hours. At least five explosions have taken place. Uh, at least seven people are confirmed dead, and more than 30 are injured. The Islamic State or ISKP has claimed responsibility. Initially, it was being said that um, this, uh, these uh, explosions are a result of IED explosions, and that was unexploded ordinance on which the Taliban's uh, convoys and general people had stepped. Uh, but uh, 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 sources on ground, security sources on ground, uh, both from the Taliban and from the previous police uh, setup as well, they were casting doubts on this claim for the fact that uh, uh, this looked like a calculated act. So after that, we saw late last night uh, and a claim for the Islam from the Islamic State Khorasan province or ISKP as it's commonly said, uh, where they have claimed all five of the bombings or, or the blasts that took place. Uh, and they've said that uh, uh, the language is very interesting. They said that they targeted the Taliban who they consider as an apostate. Uh, uh, the IS claim, of course, has an exaggerated number of death toll as well. It says that 35 people have been killed. However, uh, when I spoke to hospital sources, it said, they said that at least seven people are confirmed uh, dead in these explosions.